Boots. Come on, Ark. Eyes down. Ready. Hands up. I was never very good at sports when I was younger and this just seemed like something fun. I never really thought it would sort of consume the bigger part of my life. I play it because I play it because it reminds me of all those times as a kid where I wanted to play Quidditch <laughs> after watching the films and reading the books. And it's just it's just fun and it's also a really inclusive sport. We take in all sorts here and it's the best way you can get a group of misfits to get along. <laughs> Uh, Harry Potter starts with the books and Quidditch comes from Harry Potter. So J.K. Rowling wrote out this sport. She came into inventing it from looking at how other sports cultures worked in the non-magical or muggle world as it's known. So, it's, so it started off as just something purely from literary imagination. When I tell people I play Quidditch, it's usually met with uh, a bit of laughter. Like, come on, you don't play Quidditch. You know, that's, a, that's from a book or a movie. And followed up by the question of how do you fly? The rules change from flying, I guess. We, we've had to try and simulate the fact that uh, we're flying. So you've got to charge up and down a, a field with your broomstick, you know, riding it the whole time. If you drop that broomstick or if you get beaten with a bludger, you have to dismount, which sort of simulates the effect of you falling off your broomstick as if you would in the Harry Potter world. The, the responses vary between it looks wonderful and it looks ridiculous. <laughs> I'm kind of interested in the sport, but not enough to actually, you know, join a conventional sport. And I'm enough of a Harry Potter fan that the idea seemed interesting. Yeah, we're nerds. We're sporty nerds. Very niche community here. Well, my parents are coming along to the game on Sunday so that they can stop asking me questions and see what it's really like. But I think it's just going to end up with even more questions. I've taken it for the irreverent sport that it is, because it is pretty irreverent. There are people who take it seriously, like, serious enough like myself. That's the best part. On top of everything, guys, work hard. Play like you don't have anything to lose. Don't be reckless. Play like you don't have anything to lose. Because we don't. We're here because we enjoy Quidditch. We're here because this is the only sport any of us have ever really considered committing to. And I'm proud to commit to you guys as your coach and as your teammate. I've said to you guys a million times before, this game isn't just about the brooms, the balls and the hoops. It's more than that. It's about the team. Let's show them. Let's show them that we deserve to be, and we do. All right? We're a trope, man. We we got we got up from the ground, all right? And look at what we are now. We're a fully fledged team with gender ratio straight off the bat, and we're going up against one of the oldest teams in Victoria. We're gonna be damn proud of ourselves for that. Yeah. I like the competition because this is the only sort of sport I have ever been interested, like truly invested in playing. Touch the hoops, mate! Touch the hoops! It's just meant to be this purely unadulterated thing, wholesome sport where you, can, you don't have to take yourself that seriously. James Brown! I need a chaser! Yeah, you okay? Oh, man. I need a chaser, just someone get out there! Someone get out there now! They're a really good group of people and I get very I get I, I get very protective of them when they're on when they're on and off pitch. We all realise that we're just a just a pack of misfits on brooms playing a game that was that came from a book, you know? I mean how seriously can you take yourself if you've got a broom between your legs and running up a field? So there's a level of irreverence. With that grows a sense of camaraderie, I think. We are definitely a family. Everyone will joke together and laugh together. We've got a, a collective bunch of weirdos, if I can call them that. We're like a family. We all get together. We're all supportive of each other. And yeah, we're really close.
It's, just, it's for some reason people gravitate to this sport. Whether you're a Harry Potter sporting type or a non-Harry or a non-Harry Potter type, uh, yeah, whether you like sports, whether you don't, because like I said, we're just a collection of misfits on brooms.